Hey everyone, this is Sean. Today I want to do a quick surface tip. It's been, actually been a while since I've done a surface quick tip. Today I want to look at the Windows Ink Station, okay? So if you have a Surface Pro 3, Surface Pro 4, Surface 3, anything with a Surface Pen and you're not fully utilizing the pen, it might be because you are not aware or you don't fully utilize the Windows Ink workspace. Uh, what I like to do first of all is to customize the Surface button by default, when you click the button, it usually opens OneNote. Uh, but you can actually go into your settings. So if you didn't see what I did there, I just hit the Windows Ink workspace at the very bottom. If you click this, it'll actually open up the settings. So I like to set it so that when I click it, once it opens up the Windows Ink workspace, and within the Windows Ink workspace, I have sticky notes. You can also toggle this switch right over here which means that even if your device is locked, you can still quickly open up notes. Now why I love that is because taking notes is super fast using sticky notes. It, it's also fast using OneNote, but I'm a little bit more picky with my OneNote. I don't like to just open up random OneNotes to jot down quick little notes. I'd much rather that be in the sticky note instead. And then of course I do have it so that when I double click my clicker, then I can open OneNote. Uh, so let me show you that really quick. Double click, OneNote opens, I'll go ahead and close that. Uh, so I get OneNote and I get the Windows Ink workspace. Uh, so you can see when I click once, all of a sudden I have sticky notes. Okay, so sticky notes are awesome for jotting down quick notes. Uh, you can have multiple notes on here. You can even actually color code them uh, so that you can have uh, you know different things that you want to say. Uh, you can draw pictures. You can write down a quick little uh, phone number in here. Uh, pretty much whatever you want to write. Uh, the sticky note allows you to do that. Then of course, if you're wanting to do uh, something a little bit more artistic, there's Sketchpad. If you're feeling artistic or you want to jot down an idea, you can use Sketchpad. Uh, this was already demoed quite a bit, but there's actually a ruler here so you can draw uh, some straight lines. If you go into Windows Ink Workspace, you can also uh, do a screen sketch. So you just uh, you know go to whichever screen you're wanting. I go and tap on screen sketch. It'll take a screenshot of your screen and then you can go ahead and start annotating and it's got the that ruler functionality again. There are tons of apps that you can actually use with the Windows Ink workspace. You know, there's some suggested apps that show up here. So overall, uh, highly recommended if you're not already utilizing this. It's been around for a while. It's built into Windows 10. I think it's after the anniversary update. Uh, so really nice. Uh, do be aware the creators update is coming soon. There's a ton of fun new updates to the sticky notes and other stuff. I'll be covering that in a later video. All right, so there you go. That was the uh, Windows Ink workspace and also kind of a bonus uh, how to customize your Surface Pen button uh, video. Uh, really quick video, hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, do hit the like button. Do stay tuned for more videos and thank you very much for watching.